Well, can't hang about here all day. Let's come in and have a chat with Mike about some of his amazing vehicles. Hello there, sir. Hi, pleased to meet you. Now, in here, you've just got bikes. Just bikes. So, can't can't get cars in here. Talk us through some of the vehicles you've got in here. Well, in here, we've got, uh, this is my latest project. It's um, a Cafe Racer Norton from the 70s. There's going to be lots of special parts on it, billet yokes I've had made, all the bodywork's been handmade by an old craftsman. <laughs> And over here, the fizzy. Over there, the which fizzy. Which everyone of my generation wouldn't remember. My brother certainly had one. Good. So, and you still ride it? Yeah, for sure. Not when it rains. I was right. going to say, not in the wet. <laughs> not it in the wet. It looks absolutely pristine. That's right. I bet it's quite good fun as well. It's fun. You know, you put you put your moped head on, then you're 16 again. It's yeah. great. I was going to say, it must be all those memories coming back That's of right. that kind of era. Yeah. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I squeak a bit. Got bike boots on in there. Very squeaky. So I apologise. But through here. You've got a load more stuff, haven't you? Uh, I'm afraid I have. You've got a collection of crash helmets, so that's all dif for different moods, is it? No, they're, they're just um, helmets I'm collecting. You know, I'm trying to get hold of some 60s and 70s helmets, but they all get <laughs> chucked away and you can't find them. You know, it's, it's... We must say as well that this is the garage next door to the house, so um, your wife, I presume she doesn't see very much of you. You're in here It's a wonder my much. bed hasn't been bought uh -huh. out and put yes. into the office. So. did have my suspicions yes. on that. Now, you've got another bike at the back here, which is quite bizarre, because that's the one that can go in the water. Yeah. Kawasaki KDX 200, it's, um, it's a cracking enduro bike, uh -huh. but we entered Bike Magazine's amphibious competition uh, and it's about three years ago. We did it two years running and came second in both races. Right. Um, that was at the NEC, uh, so we made that fully amphibious. It was, it was a hoot to ride. Lovely car here, which you can see mm. is... Um your everyday road My car? My everyday road car. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not really a fan of modern cars unless I was spending in excess of £100,000. I just love it a bit. So presumably, because this car's a little bit older, you can get away with classic insurance and oh, stuff? Oh, yes. Classic insurance. That's about £100 a year, fully comprehensive. And I get a free tax disc every year. Oh, do you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, but no, it's great. It's not the best E-Type in the world. It's, it's very usable. If it gets scratched or not, then yeah, it's no big deal. It's good. Nice I, I love nice. it. Nice yes. down to earth. Yeah. You've got another vehicle outside that you designed, is that right? That's right, the Formula 27 sports car. Uh-huh. How did that come about? I was into the kit car scene for a while and I thought I'd design my own car and you know make some money out of it. And um, this one outside is one a friend's built from my design and it's probably the ultimate Formula 27. It's uh, a bit special. OK, um, over here you've got the Dalek. Oh, Derek the Dalek, yes. What's the story? Another little project that's um, getting there slowly. Um, most of it's original, the upper half is original TV as opposed to movie Dalek. The bottom bit was um, remade from one of the original moulds by a friend of mine who does special effects for television companies. So I managed to get all the bits and pieces together. And so You've it, got some friends in high places then, haven't you? I, I, I know the right people who do <laughs> the right things, so uh, we can get things done when I need to get them and done. And you can climb inside as well? Yeah, yeah, there'll be a proper mechanism in there for driving it and it'll have the Dalek speech box put on. It'll is, be a laugh. Is there a height limitation? I mean, no, you just, you just sit down in it. Oh, do you? Yeah, put a seat in there. It's not in there yet, but we'll, we'll get a seat. How bizarre. Yeah, it's great. Well, you've certainly got some interesting hobbies. Yes.